Review Best View T1 Mini Smartphone Teleprompter. High quality, plastic, really, really nice and sturdy. Okay, so this is where the smartphone goes and well, this right here, this feels cheap. Teleprompter remote control runs off of two AAA batteries. QR code for the Android app download. Hopefully that'll make things easier. And lots and lots of step-up rings. 49 being the smallest one. So that's not super awesome if you're a Sony APS-C shooter. Ooh, like myself. Um, because the standard kit lens of the Sony APS-C cameras, A6000, 6300, 6400, 6500, is this 16 to 50. And this one has a filter thread of 40.5 millimeters. So none of these step-up rings work with the standard kit lens if you're a Sony shooter or if your kit lens has a smaller filter thread than 49 millimeters. That's something to note. Also, it doesn't work if the lens you want to use has a bigger filter thread than 77 millimeters. 49 to 77 millimeter filter thread, you can work with this. Lower or higher, you can't. Well, lower, I guess you could use a couple of step-up rings to bring you from 40.5 to 49 and then use it. That would be possible. I would really like to use my 16 millimeter Sigma lens, but that doesn't work because the corners will show up on the screen. So I'm gonna do a little test here with the 1650 kit lens. This is probably how it would sit on the filter thread like this. And as you can see, 16 millimeters, that doesn't work. So let's go to, all right, like, that's actually fairly decent. 22 millimeters on APS-C. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'd say above 22 millimeters on APS-C, you're good. The filter thread of the 30 millimeter is, what is that? 52 millimeter filter thread, so 52. And don't tighten this super hard because I did that mistake with my 16 millimeter, which I can't use at all, but I tightened it so hard now, I can't freaking get the UV filter off the step-up ring. I basically killed that UV filter. <laughs> so don't tighten this too harshly. That's a really good tip. Oh. And that is how it looks. Now, let's download the app and see whether this works. Okay, this is weird. If you scan this QR code, it doesn't direct you to a Play Store page or an App Store. It lets you download an APK file. Oh no, it's in the App Store, but as an Android user, you have to download an APK file. Okay. For your security, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from the source. Okay, it already sucks. I have to change the settings. Allow from this source. T1 teleprompter, do you want to install this application? App installed, okay. Add. Title, okay, okay, okay. This is a test content. I'm just gonna type in some weird nonsense. Okay, I did compose the text. I want to save it. How the f do I do that? Okay, that's how I do it. Save. You should take this off. and then put the whole thing on the camera, or on the lens, I should say. So this is the image that you're getting from my A6400 using the teleprompter. I can now hit play, and the thing will run. And I can really read it very, very easily. So it actually works really well. I'm gonna use this thing for my commercial projects because time is money, they pay me by the hour. It's truly a great help if you're on the clock and you need to make sure that all the information is in the video. I can really see this helping me out a lot in just getting the shot done faster. Phone size wise, this is my S8 Plus. So obviously 
if this is where your text would run, you couldn't see it. So basically, if you make sure that you don't have sentences that go all the way to the right side, like this, you will be fine. Remote use, okay, so there's a dedicated chapter. It can only work via Bluetooth, right? So this is the on button, turn it on, okay. It's blinking red, reminds me of a pairing mode, so. If you want to connect new device on power off mode, keep press. Maybe now that I've set it to game, it's game. No freaking way. X, Y, A, B, like it's a freaking Nintendo controller, okay. So downwards, let's play and pause. Okay, that actually, yeah, that's right. Oh, and okay <laughs> on the very front. That's also apparently okay, uh, play and pause. That's actually comfortable. Now let's see whether we can speed it up and down. We can, hopefully. Oh yeah, yeah, that actually works fine. Page up and down. Okay, I don't really know what constitutes a page. Probably everything that you can see on the screen while you edit the message, like at once, that probably is a page. That's what it seems like to me. Okay, menu, what does that do? Oh, I'm going into the me- Ah, okay, that's actually not bad. But then again, <laughs> the menu is mirrored. You have to check it out like this. You can't actually see it on the mirror. <sighs> yeah, that's not perfect. <laughs> it works, it works. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. It's a 50% uh, piece of shit, crap, uh, <laughs> remote control. The app isn't really super intelligently uh, done, but the freaking thing works. It really does. I think it's gonna really speed up my process. I mean, if I'm doing things off the cuff, I don't have a script, but, but if I really need to get information across precisely, and without missing anything, and I am on the clock working for somebody else, I can actually see myself using this a lot. If you jump through a couple of hoops, like the installation process, and uh, the fact that this is like a semi-intuitive remote control, it's not intuitive at all. It's basically a Game Boy controller that's used for, <laughs> that's used as a remote control. Having said that, the thing works, I like that I have it. I can see myself using it a lot for commercial projects where time is of the essence. This is really, really, really helpful. I mean, I can tell you that right now. So if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. All the tech that I've used in this video is linked in the description. As always, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.